In this video we're going to cover setting a gopher set. Um, this is bonus video that's actually found within the book but is also available without purchasing the book on the YouTube channel. This is a typical gopher mound. You'll see the fan-shaped uh, uh, look to it. It's got a little bit of an edge on one side. You can kind of see the gopher plug where he pushed the dirt out on the one side. Sometimes this is obvious, sometimes not so obvious. We're going to probe and try to find the lateral tunnel, which is what we want to go ahead and trap. There's another tunnel that goes up to that plug, and that's the tunnel that you definitely want to avoid. If you put a trap in that tunnel, the gopher will typically just throw dirt on the trap. So I'm going to use a, a shovel to excavate down to the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel will have two directions to it. And then I'm going to come in with my knife and kind of clean the dirt out in the tunnel. Sometimes you can get by doing this with your hand too. And usually I like to um, uh, push down a little bit and, and create a nice flat spot in that tunnel. Make it kind of, make it kind of hard on the bottom of the tunnel. And then we're going to use trap lines here. We're using a gopher version of the trap line. It's just a little bit bigger version than the mole version uh, designed for North American pocket gophers. Just a simple wind-up design. I'm holding the trap in my right and left hand, sliding the trigger wire over the front of the jaws, pushing the square trigger forward and doing it a wind. And then one thing I like to do is put a little peanut butter on the trap trigger. That gets the gopher in the proper position so that he gets caught humanely every time. One of the things that you don't want with a gopher is a mistrap gopher. A mistrap gopher has memory and will not go back to a trap for some time. So that's a situation you definitely want to avoid. We'll insert our two trap lines in the tunnel. I like to bed the front of the trap line into the tunnel just a little bit. So I'm kind of pushing down a little bit on the front edge, but the trap should still lay generally flat in the tunnel. And then we'll stake our trap down. I'm going to put the plug back in and cover it up. Um, usually gophers are very, very active. Um, in most cases, you're going to catch a gopher within probably four to six hours or less, at most 24 hours. 